I told you, if I can just get some juicy tidbits, sales will shoot up for you, my man. Sheesh, didn't I tell you? I can't take photos of people. You can keep your money if you want pics of that rude-ass detective. Oh, yeah, his, his girl's all right. Oh, yeah, she's a good one. Gotta wonder why she's with a snooze fest like him. <laughs> Not a bad idea. I'd love to see him keep his cool even when his girl's taken. We're going to tour the island tomorrow, right? I can't wait. That's right, but you'd better get to bed soon so you can wake up tomorrow, yes? What are you saying, Papa? You gotta enjoy both days and nights on vacation, right? We should talk lots. Why, we already spoke with the others plenty today, and I'm sure they're all going to sleep now. Hmm, but I didn't talk to you much, Papa. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> That's my selfish little girl. Hey, Papa? Was Mama a good person? Did you and Mama get along like David and Shirley? Oh, absolutely. I've never met a person finer than your mother. You're starting to remind me of her yourself, though you'd need to be a bit more mature. So I can't be childish, huh? Now, Sophie, you can be whatever you want to be. No matter what, you're a precious family to me, a true treasure, and your mother as well, of course. <laughs> Got a text from Paul. Bring back souvenirs, you ass. What's wrong? Doesn't Helena remind you of your mother? Maybe so. There's kind of that air about her now that you mention it. But what's this all of a sudden? Never mind, I just had a thought. You don't look so good. Did something happen? Well, I've never been on a trip like this before. I don't know how I should act. It's different from traveling with friends, isn't it? Hey, just enjoy yourself. You won't have any fun worrying over everything. We'll make some great memories. What about your memories with me? We could always use more. I wonder how many more we need. Why don't we start now? Oh, look at the time. Better get to sleep. Hey, what about making memories? <laughs> hey, David! Stop it! I'm ticklish! Give me a break. Like, that's gonna be a fond memory. <laughs> Good night. Enjoy yourself tomorrow. Night. Somebody put a stop to that asshole's calls. Where's my phone? Elena?
So sorry to disturb your slumber, detective. But you know it'd be a waste to sleep on such a wondrous night. Ah, it really is a great set, don't you agree? All it needs is me standing on stage, and then perfection. Well, get up there, then. How do you do, detective? I am... <clears throat> Excuse me. How do you do, detective? I am the boogeyman, the organizer of this marvelous game soon to begin. Game? Yes, a very special game for the night of a very joyous trip. Oh, pardon me. Um, let me consult my cheat sheet. Now, let's see here. You're the player and must chase the boogeyman. If you catch him, you win, and that's the happy ending. If you don't catch him, you lose, and what awful bad ending may await you then? So, what do you think of that? You look pretty fast, Mr. Detective, so you might catch me real quick. That'd be pretty boring now, wouldn't it? Ooh, I know. How's this for an idea? How about I kill everyone but you, and you have to stop me? <sighs> Is this stupid prank part of the tour? How long it's not in a while, you know? Stupid? How dare! You'll see. Oh, you'll see. It'll be the best game you ever did see. Let me guess. Are you nervous? Worry not. I've even prepared a tutorial for you. And now we're about to have the opening cutscene. Tell me, detective, are you familiar with the boogeyman? All the evil and sadness in this world can be blamed on the boogie. He's always watching from inside your closet. The Boogeyman is the king of evil and terror. Meanwhile, you're a detective, allied to the weak citizens, and because it's you versus me, a simple game this may be, but it's also a battle of good and evil. Such a holy battle needs a spectacular opening, yes? Indeed, sacrificial blood must spill. Brendan, let him down. This joke is going too far. Joke? <laughs> what a laugh. I'm always deadly serious. Shouldn't you know from experience, people who do things to make you think the words they've got to be joking are usually very serious. And they're just messed up in here. Right then, detective, the blood of this homely boy should add some nice color to our game. Oh, yes, this'll be quite a night. Yeehaw! Now the game begins, detective. Catch me if you can, before more of that lovely blood stains the castle floors.
Stevie, are you there? Turn on the lights. Repeat. Turn on the lights. That's the way, Stevie. You're a real great tour guide. Now keep repeating. You have to finish your job if you want to go back to your wife in Connecticut. Oops. Someone's eavesdropping on our conversation. Detective! You took your time, didn't you? You did this? Thought I told you I prepared a tutorial. Now you should have a real good grasp of the way this game goes. In short, you go too slow, the others end up like this, too. Stevie did such a good job, showed you just what you needed to do. Did you kill those servants, too? Oh, they're just for show. Making it look good helped spice the game up. I'll let you off the hook there, since they kicked it while you were still snoozing away. So what do you think? Gotten you a little more motivated, detective? Or maybe I'm making you quiver in your boots. Where'd you take the others? It'd be no fun in games if I told you that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot to get done. Good luck, detective, cause for you nothing could be a bigger disgrace than failing to save someone you could have, right? Stevie, stop. That's enough. It's cold. It's all right. It'll get better soon.
Ugh. <sighs>